All right, what's going on YouTube? It is Quick Snoopy, and today I am doing a replay commentary of a Kunkka game that I played earlier today. Uh, I actually have been having a lot of good games recently, so I figured I would record them and explain them to you guys. So let's start off uh, by usual. If you do enjoy this series, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Uh, it would really help me out. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below, and I will do my best to answer them. Uh... So the first thing I do here is, you notice I get the Quelling Blade, the Tangos, the Stout Shield, uh, two Iron Branches, because I was going to think about going for Fairy Fire, but um, Fairy Fire gives two damage, but you also get the 85 health, which is nice, the um, Instant Restore region. <clears throat> Basically, so uh, I figured I would just go one in this game, because I am against uh, Shadow Fiend. 30 seconds to battle. And the, the two iron branches help out a lot when it comes to the health and then the damage as well. So I still get that plus two damage, which is really important for me. Um, so I don't get my first skill yet, as you guys notice, but I will go X marks. Now I'm going to take the rune. This is a really cool trick that I learned. So you can use X marks on yourself. And then I run to try and steal the rune. And then I jump back. And go ahead and get um, my other rune. The problem with this is that nobody actually blocked my my creeps mid. So if the other mid blocks, then it's just gonna mess up the equilibrium. Fast forward here, and all right. So Shadowfiend has a Tango, uh, Wraith Band, and I know that he doesn't do any hardly any uh, any damage at all in the beginning until he gets souls. So easily I can just I can really play aggressive here is what I'm trying to say and I can deny my own creeps All right, so um, And denying that range creep is really important. I still only have X marks I do want to get Tidebringer when I get level 2 though Because uh, that'll help out as like a form of harass and it will let me uh, help with last hitting and help with attacking the Shadow Fiend too. So notice how I do that and how I position myself. I still deny. I do have high ground advantage so he has the miss chance. And there's not a lot you can do here really. I did fail in that last hit. I turn off Tidebringer here. Just so I... Because I didn't need it. But I will use it to um, attack the Shadow Fiend when he's nearby. Level 1 Raze, I know it doesn't do a lot of damage. And it's not really worth it for the mana cost. But he needed last hits. So I guess that was good for him. Again, I missed that last hit and I used Tidebringer. But I'll just get that last hit. I do finish uh, Magic Wand. I have to be brought to me though. That'll help out with regen. And I want to get a bottle eventually. All right, so let me let me stop here after this deny. So I come back to high ground, right? Uh, there's just not a lot he can do here. I do have level three, and he's level two. When we look at last hits, I have we both have four last hits, but I have deny one deny. He has one deny, and I have nine denies. So that's why there's like a level discrepancy there. I play defensive, I eat the tree. I can go back and just walk up and uh, deny it. Because he doesn't have any mana, right? And then I use Tidebringer to take down his health a little bit. Okay, now with um, level 3, you need to like kind of watch his positioning here. So I'm still on high ground, right? I have the high ground advantage. Uh, Tidebringer is almost off cooldown. I have Torrent and I have X Marks. I'm close to level 4. So in my head, I'm thinking that I'm going to get level 4, he's going to be level 2, and I can make a really aggressive play here. And I'm pretty sure this is when I do it. Because this is the only time I would have been able to do something. I instantly put another point in X marks instead of Tidebringer. Usually I'd put up an extra point in Tidebringer. I use X marks. Alright. Then I use Torrent. Boom. I walk in front of him. That's very important here. And then I right click, move, and I attack. And there we go. 
So just like that, I get the kill. Uh, I do take a lot of hits from the tower, though. But it's definitely worth it, because he loses souls now. It continues to let me play aggressive. The XP is amazing. I do have two range creeps that Lane's going to push. He used a lot of his mana there again. I do need bottle, because uh, that'll help out with a lot with lane sustain. I'm playing defensively, because there's not a lot I can do. I'm level 5, he's level 3. I know he warded there, so I kind of point that out to my team. I put it on the map. I do need bottle though, so the sentry ward doesn't directly go to my support. And I have to play knowing that there's a ward there. So, uh, yeah. Uh, the Tidebringer really messed up those last hits there. I shouldn't have used it, but it was on auto. Alright, so here, I want to use some of my mana before I use Bottle. So, uh, I think what I do is I just throw a Torrent. Okay, that's like the best way, or most efficient way, I'd say. Because I want to get health and mana from Bottle. I have Raindrop being brought to me because of the magic damage. I check top rune because I want to use Bottle, but I don't want to like... I want to get the most out of the charges. Um, there's Torrent. I just use that because it allows me to use a Bottle and I get like the most out of it. Same thing with this. What I wanted to do here, and I don't think it worked, is he has... 464 health. I wanted to bring X marks back so I could use Tidebringer. Yeah, I know it didn't hit him. Okay. That's alright. That would have been like the most efficient play, but it was just he was out of range when I used X marks, anyways. He got the deny there. I remember my teammates were struggling um, top because of Dragonite and like the lane sustain that he had. So I, well, I want to get Raindrop being brought to me, but I don't want to have Raindrop be brought alone. Uh, or I didn't at the time. Because I figured I would just get like boots with it. Terrorblade's pretty good this patch, so you really have to kind of um, respect that. Oh, here we go, X marks again, and then I use Ghost Ship. That's another perfect opportunity for a kill. So I have more last hits and more than eyes than Shadow Fiend. He keeps losing souls. I missed that last hit. That's something I need to be improving on a lot. I could have waited to use Tidebringer there. Um, I pull the, the wave back. I used Tidebringer because I wanted to quickly kill that creep before he could deny it. It's okay to do that and take hits from the creep in the process. It's worth it that I get the last hit and he doesn't. Like right there, Tidebringer hit. I have three points in that. And two in X marks just because of that one play that I used. So this is really, really dangerous. I tried to use Torrent too. Um, I didn't time it properly. And now I'm at 500 health and I'm forced to go back. The reason I didn't TP is because I would have I would have gotten stunned there. So uh, I have boots and raindrop being brought to me. Alright, I'm gonna actually do something different. I usually just focus on myself here, but I want to talk about like the other team a little bit. So Enigma uh, goes back top, and I know that. I think I go top here, actually. Dragon Knight. Um, he has Fairy Fire, and he has Tangos, and Boots, and Quelling Blade. That's about it. Slardar is here somewhere. It won't even... I can't even see Slardar. Um, and Terrorblade just has the power treads, so, yeah. So I asked my team if they needed me to go top, and they didn't really give me an answer. 
So I just went top anyways, and I think this works out. I put range drop in my inventory. Enigma runs back. So I didn't think we'd be able to get a kill. I attack the idle ones. I do a lot of damage. It's a lot of gold. Right here I see Dragon I play aggressive though. And I X marks back into Ghost Ship. Enigma isn't level 6, so there's no black hole. And that was just perfect. And here I think we still dive, because I have X marks in 4 seconds. Yep. Alright, so we didn't really have to like dive the tower that much. Um, I use Torrent just on Dragonite. It's kind of pointless, but uh, I think we go to Shrine here. I'll fast forward. I get Bounty Rune. I end up going back mid. So I use the charges on that. I told him that the ward was there. He dewarded mid. Double damage top. I could really use that, but I think we kill him without double damage. Because look at like how low health it is. And I stopped Ghost Ship. I didn't even need that. I have maxed out Tidebringer. I used all the charges before double damage. And this lets me play aggressive again because he doesn't have any souls. He keeps dying. I can, uh... I can continue to like... What level is he right now? 7 and I'm 9. So, double damage. Plus all the levels I have. I don't have Ghost Ship, which kind of sucks. So I go and I gank top. This is important. Um, I was going to wait until I had Ghost Ship off cooldown. I don't remember. I, I don't think I have time to use it in this fight. So I just use double damage, right? And this is important. I used Torrent ahead. But I predicted where he was going to go. There's still no Black Hole, so I feel alright here. And yeah, that happens. Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. So I get the Helm of Iron Will. It helps me with a lot of region, and I think we still play aggressive here. We dive. Now I remember this play. I was really mad because I would have been able to kill him if our Tusk didn't, didn't do that. And so instead, Tusk did that, and it kind of just messed up my timing. Because I already had it in motion. So that was kind of weird. It was like a bug or something. I don't know. Uh, now I think we use Shrine. No, never mind. I stay. I hide here in the side. I want to kill Enigma before he hits level 6. Because Black Hole is uh, really helpful. It's not something I wanted. So immediately I go on Enigma. I don't give him a chance to get level 6. So the creeps are there, right? You can still get the XP. I missed Torrent because I was stunned. I have double damage though, so I kill him. And then this is important. Uh, I think we dive. I have 17 magic wand charges. Yeah. So I use X marks back and Torrent. I save the Morphling. And I just attacked the creep here with Tidebringer. Okay, now we use uh, Shrine. So the good thing here is Keeper of the Light is a mid, so he's kind of keeping like the lane pushed out, right? <clears throat> um, I mean, the tower still took damage, I know that. Yeah. So there's 300 health on this tower, but. There's 1,300 on the enemy tower, and Shadow Fiend is over here somewhere. So, uh, it, like, it really allowed me to just stay top and help out because we got so much done top that it was it was really worth it. I think, and like, I still have more last hits than Shadow Fiend, even though he's kind of like I haven't been there to kill him in a, in a little bit. So, I go mid. I think I kill him again here. I get the arcane room. Yeah, I, I definitely kill him really, really soon. I checked the bottom because I didn't know where Terrorblade was going. I want the item to be brought to me. I was waiting on something. 
Oh yeah, the um, Gloves of Haste. So I'm not really like in a rush right now. <sighs> My mistake here, I should have used Arcane Rune, but I didn't. I don't know why. Instead I just used X Marks, Ghost Shift, Torrent, everything. He dies again. And then I just really like farm and push mid. Dire snow fortified structures. When we look at net worth, I'm actually top on the net worth graph right now. I have 5,400 compared to the 2,800 Shadow Fiend. But, like, I only have five more last hits than him. I was really efficient with my time top. I see him TPing mid, and I'm pretty sure I go top, maybe not. No, I definitely stay here. I still should have used Arcane Rune though, because Ghost Ship would have been off cooldown sooner. This is the part that's really dangerous. He has his ultimate. I take tower damage because of how I position myself. I have uh, armlet, luckily. I went down to 40 health, used magic wand, toggled armlet. Then I went back here. I ended up getting last hits on some of these creeps. And then I TP'd uh, back because the TP scroll was on cooldown. Tower isn't going to last long. So I'll just fast forward here. I run back mid. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Um. <clears throat> Yeah, so Shadow Fiend's mid. I get the haste run. And I end up going top, I think. They're beating on Dyer's top tower. That's right, so I actually couldn't go top. I remember this. I wanted to go top because Dragonite was in their jungle. But uh I don't really want to lose mid tower right now. A golden thread. I don't want to give them the opportunity to last it on the tower either. So Fast forward a little bit. We have Siege Creep. I missed the Tidebringer there. That was my positioning. That was my fault. I took a lot of damage from Shadow Rays. So my team's coming to gank mid. We ping. I use Haste Rune. I use Ghost Ship. Everything. Easy again. He gives me mana. It allows me to like uh, kill the enemy siege creep. Push out mid. So we take mid. I leave armlet on. I have the health regen. Like 10 health regen is actually a lot. I get this Invis rune. I don't remember if I do anything with it. Oh yeah, I push bottom with Weaver. I notice his Ring of Aquila isn't activated. I check that like right now. Sometime. Yeah, I checked it. So there you go. I saw that it wasn't um activated. So I tell him to activate it. Help push the wave. Weaver probably should have stayed next to the uh, the range creep instead of walking away. That way he can deny it or uh, the Ring of Aquila still gets the bonus. Like the bonus armor on the creep. But that's alright. I um... <clears throat> toggle armlet when Tidebringer's up. But I maxed it out so that's really nice. I don't use armlet to attack the tower here because I know we're going to get it. You get the last one on the tower. Um... Alright, so I put TP scroll in my inventory. And I think I TP top. Yep, so I TP top. And Enigma's there. He probably has a black hole. He dies. Just kidding. Ghost ship on Dragonite. He gets stunned. And he dies. Really good, like team coordination here. Oh, that's me push top. 
Invisibility. Invis rune. Radiant's middle oh, tower is under attack. I can't remember like what I do and why I do it. Oh yeah, we kill the dragon right here. There's a fight that happens. So this is important. Listen up. So right here, I see Dragonite. What I don't see is like this high ground vision. And let me uh, let me show you. So like, look, I see Enigma there, right? Any backs, but I don't know if there's any more. But I see Terrorblade here too. Like I don't see him at the time. And I'll show you my player perspective. Because this is important. So right here. I don't even see Enigma. I just see Dragonite. I'm slowing this down because it's like, I walk up here. Instantly, I see two people. I don't know if that's an illusion or not. But I still have the Invasor in, right? So that's alright. So, I could have... What I was going to do is I was going to attack Dragonite first on low ground. But I figured to myself... Hey, I have teammates who are on their way. While I wait for them to get here, I'm going to check, like, high ground above. And I do. And you can see where I kind of, like, position myself. They don't have any wards. And I there's quite, like, the level difference, too. Keep with the lights here. I don't want Black Hole to come out. So I use X marks, Torrent. Easy. I don't use Ghost Ship, though. That's the important thing here. I don't use Ghost Ship. And the Terror Blade dies easily. Dragonite's here. He runs away. But we have Weaver. And I have X marks. I use X marks. And then now that's when I use Ghost Ship. Just for the Dragonite. And just like that. So. I think, yeah, we pressure top tower here. So the, the important thing is that I checked... <sighs> I checked my surroundings before I initiated on the Dragonite. Like, Dragonite couldn't have really helped out in that fight because he was attacking the jungle creeps and he would have had to walk up onto high ground. And, like, me being on high ground, like, I would have seen that happen. Catching out Enigma was good because it eliminated the black hole early on. And if you saw where I positioned myself, I used Tidebringer on Enigma. And the Tidebringer hit the Terror Blade. And Terror Blade was already low health. So the Morphling just came in and killed him. Right? And they left Dragonite left alone. Weaver was there, luckily. And we had Vision on them. And I used X Marks. And we killed him. So, like, that's how, like, that whole fight really, like, played out. I'm not saying it's a game-changing fight. Uh, but it was definitely, like, huge. Actually, a show fight recap. There was a... Um, we got a thousand gold. They lost like 500. That's a huge XP change. But look at where the damage is done. Remember how I like... I waited out the ghost ship? Yeah. So I used Torrent twice. Used X Marks twice. Used ghost ship. And I toggled Armlet four times in that fight. Like I, I did 2,400 damage. The only person close that did that much damage was... Um, Morphling, and he did 500 damage. So, like, the Dragonite did 57 damage in that fight. Like, he was gone. He wasn't even in it. So, uh, without further ado, I think I explained the importance of checking high ground, like, in the jungle. When you're, when you're ganking somebody in the jungle, you need to check high ground. Like, don't just gank without high ground vision. Because if we did, if we did go on the Dragonite, it would have given Enigma an opportunity to use a black hole there. Right? And we could have died. Because the Dragonite would just use Dragon Form. And then, like, stunned us. And then everything else. But we really, like, took him out one by one before the Dragonite could do anything. So. Alright, so I tried to use X Marks. He walked out of vision right before then. I used X Marks on Slaughter. I didn't want him running away. We kill him. Because I knew he would use Sprint. So... I eliminated that possibility early on. Fast forward. This is important. So I, I saw him. I saw the Enigma blinking. And I walked back. 
I use X marks on him. Torrent, Ghost Ship, everything. Enigma's dead. And Black Hole is gone. That's a long cooldown. We can really pressure this fight. I wanted to go on that, but I wasn't willing to chase. Because they were all there. We get back. Because Terra Blade's bottom. Or, I'm sorry, Shadow Fiend's bottom. So I TP, and, uh... I don't remember if I kill him or not. I think I... I think he gets away, actually. So I use X marks. Torrent. I could have walked in front of him better, I think. And... I walk around, which is crazy. Oh, no, I do kill him here. Okay, I remember, I remember this now. This is important. So, he's here. He has his ultimate. I thought I saw him grab a TP scroll, which is what happened. I quickly use X marks. I don't have enough... I don't have enough mana for a ghost ship. I should have used magic one to give me the mana. And I'm using a bottle right now. You can see I'm using a bottle. My health is full. I don't need any health. But I'm using a bottle just for the mana. But I don't even think I get ghost ship here. Oh, I do use it, but it's so late. So, fight recap. I did 1,000 damage. He did 855. Well, I'm sorry. That's not even my fight. Never mind. I don't know why that's there. Is that a bug in the client? It might be. Never mind. No, it's not. All right, cool. Sorry about that. So here, I kind of just waited out. Uh, I have enough for Daedalus. I walk back mid. My health regen is 26 right now. Because I have the 10 health regen talent. And I have armlet. I make sure I get the last hit with Tidebringer. Alright, here we go. So Daedalus is huge in this fight for me. A golden thread. Now I have full health and mana for the most part. I want to work on a heart next, and this is something that I do when I play Kunkka a lot. I would, I kind of had in my mind that I wanted to go for Divine. Like I'm 11 kills and zero deaths at 23 minutes. Divine is definitely an option when people play Kunkka. Heart just gives the health regen, and it lets you hit harder because of the strength gain and uh survivability basically i think that's what it all boils down to here i go to help morphling because i thought they were going to chase after him they don't so that's all right i farmed the jungle for a little bit i'll fast forward i want you guys to be able to get the most out of this this time period all right uh tusk is here enigma's here enigma has black hole Shadow Fiend has ultimate. I don't remember if he uses it in this fight or not. So I use X marks immediately. Black hole was used and then it was stopped. Which is really weird. Ghost ship. So now that... Now that... Black hole is on cooldown. I used X marks on him. There was really no point. I just didn't want him like blinking away, basically. Uh, but there were so many of us attacking him that it wouldn't have mattered. We can all fight him. There's no like black hole or anything that's gonna really like stop us. Dragonite comes in. I wish I would have had X marks at this time, but I don't. Instead, he continues to run instead of staying with um, the shadow amulet that he had. I don't remember if I get him here or not. I think we do. I use X marks. Torrent. Combine. Okay, I killed him with Tidebringer. That's what it was. I get back though, because they have a Terror Blade. And I don't really want to fight into that. And he ends up getting away. I wanted to use Tidebringer on the Siege Creep, but I think he died. Yeah, and the Tidebringer just wasn't even aimed in the right direction. We get back. 
We push mid. So here I I go and I pick up um, <clears throat> Reaver, which gives the plus 25 strength. It helps out a lot with health. It helps out a lot with like damage. Because I want to use X marks, Ghost Ship, everything on Enigma. I don't want Black Hole being used. And I think we kill him. Yeah, he was trying to use Black Hole there. I think. Never mind, it was on cooldown still. I should have known that. Uh, here nothing really happens until I thought I got like a really good X marks on someone. I could be wrong though. All right, sorry about that. I had to get some ice cream and uh, something to drink. So uh, wait, well, yeah, where was I? Um, our bottom, pushing this tower. Okay, I use X marks on Shadow Fiend. And I use Tidebringer. Yeah, the thing was we couldn't kill Terrorblade there, which really sucked. I used X marks on Slaughter, I think. Yeah. I remember this exactly, but I couldn't kill him. Like, he was so low, but with Sprint, he's just gonna run so fast, so. Uh, bottom tower. Alright. I get back. Uh, my health is kind of low. The problem here that I can think of is pushing high ground against the Terror Blade. That can be a huge issue. I farm. I'm gonna speed this up. Uh, it's just my farming patterns. I don't know if anybody was interested in seeing that. I get double damage rune. I play kind of aggressive here, like on the other teams river because I'm just farming so fast I got heart so I'll point out I have heart so I can use I can leave armlet toggled on right so I'm not gonna lose any health because I regen 336 health a second The only problem is if I get hit by another player, then that'll make the cooldown on the heart. Uh, but like for farming, I think that's fine. I'm working on divine now at this point. So I can farm the wave super quick, which is nice. So here I farm, and then I said I was going to go help in that fight. I remember telling my teammates that. But the opportunity was gone, I think, by the time I got there. Alright, here I think I... Okay, this is, this is good. I'm going to slow this down a bit. To half speed. So I know there's the Terrorblade Illusion, Shadow Fiend... And uh, slaughter. Look at my positioning. I use torrent, and I use boat. I kind of walk around in this circle. I kill him. I could have used tidebringer there. I don't know why I didn't. That wasn't the play I was thinking of. 
This might be it. It was before I got divine. At least I thought it was. Alright. So I go and I get Sacred Relic. I think this is where I go mid now. So I see that was Dragonite, I remember. Alright. That is a lot of damage. I use everything. He has invis. So that didn't even really work out. The huge thing I've noticed, like all game, and maybe you have too, when playing Konka is like the mana issues I'm having. Like luckily I have Coddle who keeps giving me uh, mana, but. So again, um, X marks, Torrent. Alright, I'm gonna rewind this after the fight. I think that was it. Yeah, it was. Alright. So, I'm gonna slow it down. Slardar has 1,500 health. I'm just gonna let this go down and I'm gonna eat my ice cream while I uh, wait. Nine hundred health, ready? Unstoppable. I turn, boom. Alright. Then we all know what happens after that. Dyer's middle tower isn't going to last Dyer have fortified their structures. Something better than Dyer's middle tower. There was a funny play that happened. I don't I just don't know when it is. Right, so that's a boat, X marks, torrent, everything. And he got his ultimate off. Before uh before we killed him. So that happened. I thought the funny play was before I got divine, maybe not. So I just farm here. Many hands Alright, so here. I'm gonna slow this down too. So I use X marks, torrent, ghost ship. Boom. I think that kills him, right? No. Alright. So this does. 1,200 damage there. I walk back. Might wanna... Slow this down again. Alright, so... Cause I've actually... I haven't seen this. I don't know how... It was possible. So Shadow Fiend is there. Oh yeah, hold on. So first I go, there's me. So it is after I got divine. Alright, rip. So I go here. I farm. So Shadow Fiend's there, I didn't even know that. I'm trying to figure out how this all, like, panned out, because <clears throat> at the time I couldn't remember. So his health is 900. What do I attack, though? So they're all back here. <clears throat> 1500 health, 600 health, 900 health. Alright, so I kill... I kill him. 
Somebody just followed on Twitch, everyone. Alright. There it is. So now that he's dead... Alright, so I walk up. It's an interesting play here. Look at the health. A thousand health on Slardar, a thousand on Enigma, a thousand on Terrorblade. Oh. That was rough. So then Shadow Fiend says end. I go and farm some more. So I go mid again. Keeper of the Light has a gem. So that's important to note. Yep. So I'm actually working on a second divine right now. Cause I can kill him on one hit, right? So. I want to see what is. He had 83 health after that. What? All right, that's. That's insane. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Dyer's bottom barracks are under attack. Does this happen again? No, okay. So I get back because I heard him go invis. Cuddle teleports to me in case if I needed him to help. I farm the lane. I go and get my second divine. I think we try to end here. Yeah, so we try to end here. Okay. I use Ghost Ship. X mark was too late. I wasn't gonna dive their tower. Or dive their base. So at this point, I think the game's pretty much over. Enigma blinked somewhere. Oh, back into base, okay. And yeah. That was the end of the game. I'll go ahead and go to the scoreboard so you guys can see. Um... Shadowfiend, 0 kills, 17 deaths. That was my mid lane. I won the mid lane early on. I helped out my other lanes. And we pushed. They didn't really, like... They had late game with Terrorblade, right? But... Like, I was almost three times as more farmed as he was. I did 35,000 damage. That's... More than anyone on the other team. 
Uh, building damage, I did more than anyone on the other team. Gold per minute, higher than anyone on the other team. Highest in the game, highest XP per minute. Uh, take a look at the net worth graph. That's insane. And yeah, there I am. Compared to everyone else, I'm like literally way more farmed. Way. Uh, game was 45 minutes long, 50 to 5. So hopefully you guys enjoyed um, this video. Please be sure to leave a like if you did. Subscribe. Any questions, leave them in the comments below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Peace. Is it easy to show with the weight of the world on my shoulders? I know I told you. It's the best lot I know. It's not a game that I am playing. Trying to hold my feelings.